We are going to be seeing Sinji and John Numbers, a classic period. Does not get more classic than this, folks. Um, so I was talking about um, earlier when Numbers was playing C. Caleb mm -hmm. that I, w I was expecting C. Caleb to go, um, in fact, me Gunner because I thought Numbers has fought Sinji a thousand times. But actually Numbers ended up losing to C. Caleb earlier. So we'll mm -hmm. see how well versed he is. Maybe he's just not ready to fight Pac-Man today somehow. Mm -hmm. And to that effect, we actually saw Sinji lose to um, Nine Super Pie this past weekend. So that's also just some very nice, you know, knowledge. Who, who do they uh, play? They play Wii Fit and Wario. Oh, okay. Yeah, I figure it was a Wii Fit. Um, yeah, look at that. So, um, you know, even you would think, you know, both these players would be so unbeatable in these matchups, but it's one thing to know matchup, but. It, it's um it's one thing to know matchup but only for one player than it is to know every style of Pac-Man. So mm -hmm. numbers and Sinji, they know numbers we fit and they know Sinji Pac-Man, but do they know how to fight other ones? We'll have to see. I don't that being know. said, Sinji, really clean stuff with that bell confirmed. I actually want to point out the way that Sinji has been using a lot of these fruits. They've been using it to actually, you know, stop a lot of header from actually, you know, coming. It stops header, and it's one of those things where it's like, you know, John really wants to use header and really can't. It gets like outshot, and now we're in this position where Sinji may be at 112%, but this damage is still racking onto John numbers. Ooh. Sinji wants to get back onto stage, but isn't. Very nice up air from John Numbers. Yeah, that uh, that side B from Sinji looking like I don't know, not not the best recovery option I've ever seen. Kind of just landing right on top of Numbers. Numbers was given that up air for sure. Uh, oh, and now the strawberry in hand to gonna drop it. I like the way that you know John was just waiting at like in front of Hydrant right there. Actually stops a lot of you know. You know, a lot of hydrant situations, you can just literally shield in front of hydrant. Yeah, it, it's saying, okay, if you want to destroy this hydrant, I'm right here. I'm going to punish mm -hmm. you for what you do. But wow, jab lock into F smash. That's a good chunk of damage. Oh, got to be very careful. Very nice situation at the ledge right there from Sinji. But we're right now in a situation where Sinji is looking like he's trying to kill John. Like, he's still getting very much aggressive. Yeah, he's go he's going a bit deep off stage. Oh, and look at that. Oh, the Ooh. water. What a strange way to die. You know, you never really see that water from the hydrant gimp someone before, but... Well, I mean, I think John also used the slower version of up air. And... Oh, not up air, sorry, up B. And... Very fun information about, you know, We Fit Up B is that it's actually rhythm based. Yeah. It, which, it's like four rhythmic presses, I believe, or something like that, to do like the max boom up B. Uh, but I, I'm sure numbers could give you a monologue on uh, how to properly do it. <laughs> I do not know as much. And this right here, you know, this is like who's gonna get that big thing first? Who's gonna get that nice like damage streak? And it looks like it's gonna be okay. numbers. <laughs> Very nice fair train right there. Putting Sinji at 61% and climbing that damage right up, up to 90, 106%. 106. Sinji's gotta get his bearings in. Wow, and numbers confidently getting these grabs. Just knowing Sinji's gonna walk up shield, he's scared. And now. Ooh, wow! Very nice. We were what talking about that out. earlier with the way that you know John actually wanted to stay next to Hydrant a lot more, and that was a very perfect time. Sinji was so close to the ground where he couldn't actually jump out in time from that, if I remember correctly. Yeah, and that that interaction right there speaks to the matchup experience. You know, uh, Sinji numbers know that Sinji's gonna like Pac-Man. A lot of times, likes to do a landing there because then they can immediately like hit the Hydrant again and mm -hmm. it flies. Numbers knows what Sinji's going to do, and also Numbers knows he's got an invincible up smash with Wii Fit, so mm -hmm. just really great positioning, great shielding. Alright, getting back into this next game. It was looking like, you know, the game was a lot more in Sinji's favor, but John kept it extremely close. Regardless, very nice. Okay, um, Sinji with a slight lead right here. 
but oh, oh, we saw numbers get pretty much like a zero to death. I don't know if it was exactly zero to death last game. So it doesn't mean too much uh, as, as long as Sinji can, this, me, this lead doesn't mean too much if numbers can use deep breathing to his advantage. I love how Sinji's been keeping this lead, making sure they keep John off stage, setting up Hydrant. Ooh, but not really gonna get too much with that. I really like the way that, you know. Ooh, is that. No, that's not gonna oh. do too much. But for sure, you know, we've been seeing Sinji keep John off stage, and it's just one of those situations where he's trying to control the pace of that match itself. Especially by keeping John at ledge. John really can't do much. He can't stall too often to, you know, try and mix up the timing on when he actually can get back to stage. Yeah, I, I love that. I don't know if you saw John right there. Oh, once again, he, he uh, you know, fighting Dale, fighting Sinji for a billion times. He's really good at dealing with items. Mm -hmm. Sinji will throw an item and you know every everyone else in the world pretty much shields it, but Numbers catches it, and that was a little bit of a strange interaction right there. The F tilt and destroy the hydrant, and which will then kill numbers. And this is the first uh, stock lead of the set almost three minutes in. So Absolutely. that is a, that is a classic. <laughs> <laughs> but 64%, really good stuff from Sinji. Ooh. And that backer is going to take it, period. Okay. Oh. Ooh, not the ball. Don't oh. tell me. Hello. Wait. What a call out. You know, that. that's... Sinji known to like kind of be the player to stay back, stay. That was the second that, time. That was Hello. Like, yeah, that was very much a. You're gonna be no. exactly here. Oh my, that was looking a little scary. Hello, this still is keeping guarding. it up. Thirty-five percent, fifty-one percent. Good header. That was a really good header timing. <laughs> oh, Ooh. oh my god. Oh, oh my god. And they hit the. Uh, wow. That's so crazy. Hello. What an insane string from numbers right there. Spiked him, then hit him back out, then comboed off the trampoline. Wow. Just everything was so perfect from numbers right there. That was one of the coolest things I've ever seen him do. Absolutely. Everything just fell into alignment right there. And the fair actually going through the hydrant. Very nice. Ooh. The tech. Yeah. Make sure you get your techs in. Oh, that was a really clear punish for numbers, but kind of flubbing it right there. And uh oh, not gonna not kill quite. just yet. And this is a little scary now. Melon in hand. What will numbers do? Just throws it away, but actually kind of uses it to cover his dash back. So oh oh, and now this is scary. This is scary. We fit a kill. Oh, oh, you saw the way he did that. He grabbed right on top of the Hydra yeah. and threw. That's so crazy. I, I, I have a feeling that only works on uh, tall characters. But we'll have to see. Oh, and wow, really smart from numbers. As soon as Sinji hopped again, he has to deal with the lag of that. And wow. Yep. Clean, clean stuff. What a comeback. I, I want to see that string again. That Hello. I want to see the string that uh, numbers got again. Let's see. Okay, right here. Oh yeah, that was so smart to instantly get up after Sinji drops from the spring because Pac-Man has to go into free for all, but we've uh, but every other character doesn't, so we could punish that spring jump, and that's just perfect timing. Classic. We fit F tilt on ledge, 84% only, but with rage and deep breathing. Mm -hmm. That's just whew, that's gonna be history. Good stuff for our numbers. I feel like both those games were kind of a bit of a comeback. I feel like Sinji started with momentum and. Deep breathing we fit can take that momentum in a matter of seconds. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what happened. You know, Sinji looked like he had such good control over that game, or that set, sorry, the whole time. And then it would just took one instance for John to actually really make a good comeback on Sinji to take that set. So looks like who we have stepping up to the plate. We're going to have Kamex and John Numbers. John Numbers just winning the set and Kamex being in you know, just waiting in Lunar's Loser, Lunar's? Lo losers finals. <laughs> <laughs>